change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden. Out for a bike ride on some seriously hilly terrain. And I just passed this little farm stand back there. I saw this sign that said produce ahead and it got me all excited. Ooh, what are they gonna have? I got some cash in my pocket. Are they gonna have some blueberries maybe or strawberries, raspberries, something I can eat on my ride? And then I get there and there's this beautiful old marble slab where they probably had the produce and then a little umbrella table with a cash box and a basket, but it's gone, it's empty. And I'm like, oh man. And that got me to thinking of how we do this with ourselves and in our lives. We create these signs in our minds that say produce ahead or I will produce ahead. I can't deal with it now. I can't deal with it today, but I'll do it someday. I'll exercise next week. I'll get the gym membership right now. I'll go down there, I'll sign the contract, I'll get the membership, but I'll let my future self, the better version of me, a more competent version of me that has more willpower, more determination, more diligence, I'll let them deal with it. I'll produce ahead. I won't produce now. I'll produce in the future. I can't deal with it right now. I just don't have the energy. But nothing that I'm doing right now is gonna help create that energy in me so that I can produce ahead in the future. And then when the future comes, because I haven't taken any steps to improve my energy, to improve my body, to create better habits, to create a better self, I get there and the future self that I become has less energy than the person in the past that dumped all the responsibility onto that future self. It's an empty table. It's an empty bank account. Literally and figuratively, our bank account is empty because we put everything off onto this better future version of ourselves that's going to do all the work for us. I don't have to do it now. The guy in the future is going to do it someday. He'll take care of it. Don't worry. He kicks ass, man. You wouldn't believe all the things that he's going to do someday. He's incredible. I love him. Oh my God. I could just kiss him. <laughs> so. Don't put off your bike ride now because it's raining and thundering. Don't put it off till Sunday, a day where it's beautiful outside and, oh wow, I'm so inspired to go out and bike. Do it now. Do it in the rain. Do it in the thunder. Just be careful. Take precautions. But do it. So that when you get to that future self, there's plenty of produce waiting for you because you produced it. All right. I love you guys. See, I get myself to the road, I get on my bike, and I say, you know what? You don't have to beat this mountain. You don't have to dominate it. You don't have to make it all the way to the top. Let's just get on the bike, start moving, and see what happens. And let's have a good time in the process.